My name is uh, Varun Bal Subramanian. I am from Chennai and I have cleared the ISA entrance, All India Rank 26. My sister uh, also was preparing for uh, ISA entrance uh, about some six to seven years back. She introduced me to Chinta when I was in 9th standard. So from 9th to 12th, I've been in Chinta all four years. So that's where I developed my interest in Max. I did participate in uh, Olympiads like PRMO and RMO. I did clear PRMO, but I wasn't made, able to make it past RMO. So I was also interested in uh, uh, competitive programming. Uh, during my 11th, I used to dedicate a lot of time to uh, programming on sites like CodeChef. And I got selected uh, for a competition called ICPC for Schools. This was during 2019, I think. It was a team competition. Uh, and we went to Amrita Puri site to contest uh, with IITNs and all those sort. Uh, initially, I started with uh, mathematical circles. I would actually recommend anyone who's preparing for Olympiads and ISACMI to start with this book first. It gives you a great foundation and uh, you can develop on that with other books. Uh, I use the uh, mathematical circles mainly for uh, combinatorics and uh, stuff like graph theory, even though that's not necessary. Uh, and then I use pre-college mathematics for uh, geometry and uh, file numbers. Uh, that is the next book I would advise people to move on to after doing mathematical circles. Uh, there is uh, another book called Excursion in Mathematics, which I did not really use much, but uh, it is recommended uh, that people do it for ISIC. This was all just for the non-calculus part of uh, ISA entrance. Uh, for the calculus part of ISA entrance, I think uh, using Tomato and uh, some other uh, resources online uh, is pretty much enough. I didn't exactly study in an organized manner, uh, so to say. Uh, so I used uh, random uh, handouts and uh, websites. The main thing in calculus is uh, not studying, but doing problems, I would say. The more you practice, the more you become familiar with ideas, and then you're able to solve problems uh, more easily. I started taking ISA seriously only at the start of 12th standard. Before that, I was fully focused on RMO and all that stuff. That didn't go too well. So initially, I was focused only on the subjective part of problems. Like there are two parts, right? UGA, UGB. I solely focused on UGB uh, during the start of 12th. I did the subjective part of Tomato first, and uh, I finished it within uh, uh, five to six months. Uh, and then uh, during the during well, during the time when ISA was uh, getting closer and closer, I decided to focus more on the objective section because that will get me quick marks. Last uh, prep only that will help. I was also preparing for JE side by side, uh, so that did help with the the ISA objective section. And in between, I used uh, uh, random handouts and. Uh, I would actually like to thank uh, Aritra Dei, sir, for providing me with such a good uh, set of problems. I would also like to thank Shahbaz Khan uh, for his peer learning sessions. Those are really great. Yeah. And, uh, and Chinta gave some mock tests towards the end, too. That also helped a lot. Actually, I, uh, I struggled with calculus a lot in 11th standard. Uh, in 11th standard, I just gave up on it, to be honest. But in 12th standard, I tried uh, going back to it. Uh, and uh, after just some amount of effort, it just came naturally. Uh, yeah. Also, this exam fear business, I think I still have. 
the isa exam i actually did not take really seriously and that's why i think i did well because cmi was my main goal i was uh, set on cmi from like 10th standard uh, like i wanted to be there but uh, i ended up taking it a little too seriously and that ended up in me messing up the exam so i would just say to all uh, icc my students do not uh, take this exam really seriously it's just an exam it's not going to change your life that much even if you fail you can still continue pursuing math in so many other forms my routine was completely random i just studied one hour i felt like can i like for a stretch itself i won't study one to two weeks i won't do anything but i did uh, have a like a set of problems to do daily uh there was some contest of some sort where they upload uh, problems every day even if i don't do math for the rest of the day i'll at least do that so i just keep in touch with math every day i play badminton a lot and i believe that uh, one person should not only study all the time the sports is a great way to relax It, like completely take your mind off something yeah. uh, i still do play badminton and i i don't know whether i'll get the time now but uh, it actually really helped in my my preparation and i suggest that uh, whatever sport it be table tennis Uh, some physical activity i would recommend to anyone who's preparing because it just relaxes you one day i'll actually do nothing maybe just go through some important formula in case i forgot some trivial stuff but that's it uh, i'll just watch a movie or uh, watch some tv show that's the best thing to do one day before an exam the three months i would suggest uh, looking into uh, areas where you can easily get marks like look into easy topics which you have not covered yet uh, if you have covered all those topics then uh, well and good you can uh, do whatever you are doing uh, as your usual routine this is not exactly a do and don't this is just my personal preference but uh, <laughs> i never maintained any sort of notes just uh, i just remembered the ideas uh, there is not really any use in maintaining any notes since you are not going to be exactly memorizing any sort of thing with uh, general practice uh, you will somehow start remembering stuff yeah and that is one thing you should never let go on practice like uh, keeping in touch with max every day you cannot just take a break in between consistently work even if you are working a small amount it's fine but uh, you should not never work uh, with me for four years obviously so they get me help started on math i actually should have mentioned this earlier but uh, there was a teacher called uh, by the name of gaurav mukaji he is the one that uh, helped me get started with uh, olympiad math and uh, even this icic my preparation uh, he is the person that motivated me to get where i am get to where i am now actually uh, with this recent batch i had uh, i would like to mention uh, names of some few students who have studied topics with uh, Uh, like group study gautam vishwanathan and devans kamra especially uh, uh, this, these two guys uh, i've studied a lot with and uh, we uh, helped each other a lot as uh, to say and it was in this last batch uh, that i had so the peer group is really great at chinda i am especially interested in uh, Uh, number theory and cryptography so i would like to uh, gain knowledge in the topic of cryptology and eventually 
pursue a career in security systems and stuff of that sort. I've also been involved with CS. So I hope I can get a job there.